Hey guys, it's Banner. Welcome back to Pokemon Gold. In the last part, we entered Violet City. We did a trade where we got an Onyx, and we've entered the Sprout Tower where we've fought lots of Bell Sprouts. And fortunately, in this part, we're going to be done with Sprout Tower a lot sooner than uh, you may think. But there's still a few trainers on the way. Ooh, Enlightenment in Pokemon. Man, you just look at Chikorita's face. Look at that face. Enlightening. Sage Jin. I wonder what he drinks. Anyway, we're gonna deal with more Bell Sprouts, but at least this one is level six, and this is the only one that he has. So, thankfully, that's the case. Now, this Bell Sprout is a bit high level, but that doesn't stop me from withstanding that attack. And now we just use Supersonic a bit. The good thing about having one Bell Sprout is that I can probably take it out a lot in a lot less PP than I would otherwise. So we can use Supersonic. He's confused. He's not going to hit himself. Alright. Oh no, a crit! Oh! <laughs> I'm going to get two health from this, am I? Oh, his defense is a bit higher, so maybe not. No. I'd really appreciate it if he would hit himself at some point, but... Alright. <laughs> well, we're back to this, so... Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I'm confused, oh no. You're not going to hit yourself, you're just 3 out of 3. Because he's going to get out of confusion in this turn, and I can't do a thing about that. Yeah, uh, confusion only lasts for like 3 turns, if you... Uh, tops as well. It can... It has to apply once, but it can go away after that first turn, or after 3 goes. I'm actually surprised I landed Supersonic again. Oh my gosh, 4 out of 4. This is Bellsprout, man. I was not expecting to use Leech Life anywhere near this much because I really wanted to uh, fight all three of these trainers without using Leech Life this much. There you go, that's the fifth. Actually, no, I'm, I think I'm actually doing okay. I only want to use Leech Life five times. There you go, easy. Easy, nice. So Rocky is now level eight, which means he gets stuff. Babad is leveling up. Because these guys are a bit higher level, that means uh, we're getting more experience, which is nice. Anyway, let's talk to this dude here. Da -da -da! The Elder's HM lights even pitch black darkness. Oh, that's interesting. Man, I wonder what inter interesting Pokemon this guy has. Oh, it's another belt, level 6 Bell Sprout. Hopefully, it won't take anywhere near as long as that last one. That last one was two and a half minutes, so this one better be BAM. Hit him with the Super Sonic. He hits himself a lot. It's not very effective, well I understand that, but... Have you have you tasted Super Sonic? Everybody's Super Sonic racing. Gotta get your Pokemon confused. Everybody's Super Sonic racing. Are you gonna freaking... Come on, man. It's 55%. I'm more likely to get it once than I am to not get it in one go, but that's four out of four. What is, is it, uh, nine on twenty to the power of five right now? It's that. That's my chances right now. Six. Six times I've missed. Six times, man. Six times. There we go. Jeez. I, I am probably one of the unluckiest p people when it comes to Pokemon, but... Which means at this rate, this Bellsprout's gonna break out immediately. He's just gonna s s get out of confusion. Right away, you ready for it? Oh no, it's good. Hey, there we go. That's all I needed. Man, Bellsprout's a bit weird. He's got like a little, little fin going on. Little leafy hands. I'm just taking these hits, man. I can't deal with it. Confuse no more. Come on, you gotta, you gotta hit that Super Sonic. So this fight is taking longer than the previous one. Also, this one does growth. 
Growth increases his special attack, which is a little bit unfortunate because that's his, uh... Uh, that's the type of his, uh... Oh, gosh. I'm a little worried if he keeps spamming that all the time. Um, that's... Grass type is special, so he is improving that. Um... If he also hits himself with confusion, he's gonna... I'm just gonna freaking use Leech Life and hope that I don't die from this. Probably not. I, I won't die from this, but I don't want to take, like, too much damage. Ugh. Use the growth one more time, like a sucker! Yeah! So, by increasing your special attack by one stage, you basically bump it up to three... three halves of what it originally was. Then it's... then it's double, then it's five halves, six... Uh, I think that's the rate it goes at. It is indeed my head that is bright. Yes. And last word. So, if he were to hit me, I think at, at that point he would have done triple damage, which... Wouldn't be the end of the world for me, but uh, would have definitely <laughs> dealt a lot more damage than I wanted to. Now this guy has two Pokemon. It's a level seven Bell Sprout this time. Who would have thunk? Uh, I can actually use. No, actually no. I'm no. <laughs> I was considering using Screech to try and reduce his uh, defense. It's not worth it. It it's not worth it at all for me. Uh, but I will try and Supersonic. Whoosh! Yeah, Supersonic! So... <laughs> there we go, that's the Vine Whip. I don't know. Leech Life. The good news is that there's this and two more Bell Sprouts left in this place. And you may be wondering, oh gosh, I've got another Bell Sprout on the next person. I'm sick of seeing Bell Sprouts. You've been fighting Bell Sprouts for the last 20 minutes according to the playlist and other things. Yeah, I have. But you'll be you will be sick of Bell Sprout by the end of this place. The kinda interesting thing is that uh the only things that Bell Sprout is strong against is uh stuff like uh Onyx. Which is a bit weird. You think maybe they do like a fire type? Just oh not a fire type. Maybe like a water type area. I guess they do water types for the rest of the game, don't they? Well, that's my last leech life, so... Sweet. It's supersonic spam time. Oh boy. So now his vine whip, he's... I'm actually surprised that's not even doing anywhere near as much damage. Anyway, we'll keep supersonicking, because I can't do a thing. Until I struggle. Which struggle is a stronger attack than leech life. So I may as well keep going. Keep on doing, keep on keeping on. I can't do a thing to heal now though, so let's not take too many hits. Hit yourself, bruh. Nah, that's not how it works. That's not how you play the game. I got four more supersonics. Oh boy. Hit yourself in confusion. Oh boy. He's getting there. He's not confused. <laughs> Come on, come on, get, get the super of the Sonic. Okay, that's my last one. If he hits himself, I'm just going to be like, ah, why you do this? Nah. Okay, oh, he's, he's growth enough. Okay, here I go, here comes the struggle. Look at you, look at that, it's a stronger attack, Ooh. So bad bad should yeah we go. There's a level up. Uh his stats are nowhere near as what I'd want them to be, but eh, it's okay. His physical attack's actually pretty high, which is a bit weird. Uh now he's gonna send out Hoot Hoot now. There's Hoot Hoot. If you haven't seen him by now, here he is. I sent out Babat just so that uh he gets the experience for this. Because Rocky is way better. This is a little hint a little look into the future. Uh also, he uses Foresight, which is a little weird. I guess if you've got Ghastly, this is how they get around Ghastly being immune to the normal type. Because that's what Foresight does. It makes normal type and fighting type attacks hit your opponent. Uh, I'm going to use Screech once just to harvest defense, basically, just so that Tackle deals much more damage. Hey, look at that. It's way quicker. Ooh. And the best part is that it's not very effective, and that's, that's the biggest reason why you may want to use Onyx, because... He will absolutely resist the heck out of, uh, uh, flying types. They can't do a thing about it. 
Look, it's way quicker. Yay. <laughs> so Rocky grew to level 9. Zubat is not going to be level 9. But that's okay. Your trust is real. So anyway, I'm going to heal up and I'll be right back. I am going to heal up now. I am probably gonna find a Thradata on the way there, on this floor. Here it comes, right? Oh my gosh, it didn't even appear. Dun, dun. And now we're back. I love that shifting tower. Oh, oh. You are indeed skilled as a trainer. As promised, here is your HM, but let me say this. You should treat your Pokemon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokemon are not tools of war. Hmm. He claims to be the Elder, but he's weak. It stands to reason. I'd never lose the fools who babble about being nice to Pokemon. I only care about strong Pokemon that can win. I really couldn't care less about weak Pokemon. Whoosh. Oh, there he goes. Alright. Well, we can fight this dude right here. And this guy is... Kind of like a minibus going on. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between your Pokemon and you. So this guy, yeah, he's kind of like a minibus. So I'll be talking about him as if he were like a minibus. Now he's got three Pokemon. He's got a level 7 Bellsprout here. And he's actually got two of them. They both know... Uh, Vine Whip and Growth, just like the other Bell Sprouts. So, I recommend I'm just gonna stick with uh, with Zubat on the second one as well. Now, hopefully, I can land a Supersonic first go. Bam! Sweet. Uh, we still have to fight the Bell Sprouts like we always have. But the good news is that this is the last trainer in the entire place. So, and other good news once Zubat hits level 12. I'm really not going to be using Leech Life as a primary attack. He's not going to quite be level 12 for a... Oh, okay. You just break out of that confusion like it's nothing, apparently. Get back in it. Get back. Shoo. Get back in that poison. That confusion, I guess. It hurt itself. Ah! At least he's hit himself twice. Making this fight a bit quicker. Come on. I'm confused, oh no. I love the little ducks. I don't know. It's, it's a symbol, it's a cartoon symbol, the little ducks. Uh, I think Babat will probably level up. Uh, oh, he's sending out Hutu. Oh, alright. Alright, he's got a level 10 Hutu, which means your grass type is very screwed. If you're going up against it, actually, no, you're not, because he knows Tackle, Growl, and Foresight. I think it might be the same moves as the previous Hutu. I don't know if that Hutu knew Growl. I think it did, actually. So yeah, same moveset. But he's level 10, which means he's much, much stronger. Oh, dang. Okay, you screeched twice then. Thanks. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Alright. So now his defense is now a third of what it was. He's using Foresight because his AI isn't quite the best. Although I think the gym AI is actually quite nice. I don't know how it's written in code. And I believe there's a disassembly online, so you can kind of, if you can interpret it, then definitely check it out. Um, but I think the gym leaders actually do smart tactics. They were kept, they kept using super effective moves against me, uh, kept building strategies. Who dude, it's not too bad. Not too mad? He's not too bad either. Okay, last one is a Bellsprout, and I'm just going to pure Zubat this one. Mainly because Zubat is only level 8. But that's okay. Go, bye bye. Lyrics come at you at supersonic speed. Oh boy, here comes the growth. There's the supersonic. Now, if I get lucky with him hitting himself a lot, this fight can go over much quicker than I than it could. There's one. Easy, sweet. So. The beginning of this game is a little slow for me, and I think that's just because I don't want to use Onyx, and you're probably going to be wanting to use a Flying type to go through this place. But, I mean, not Zubat Flying type, but like Pidgey or Sparrow, maybe uh, Wiggly, uh, Jigglypuff. 
a Geo dude would be quite decent on the attacking end, but unfortunately, yeah, you've got to deal with all these Bell Sprouts, all this Vine Whip. It's an insane amount to go through for a freaking Rock type. At least your starter will be fine going through this place, no matter what. Uh, except for Totodile. Totodile is very screwed, but at least Totodile can take on the gym. It's a little weird why it's like this, but I think that it's better designed than first gen, which is like, here's the rock type gym. The only Pokemon that you can get with a move that's not weak to it is a freaking Butterfree. And you're very screwed if you're playing the other version of the game, because uh, you're very you're less likely to get Caterpie. But it, there is a chance, at least. Um, and then they fix it in yellow by giving you Mankey and Nidoran, uh, Nidoran Mail learns Double Kick, I believe, that early on. In, in yellow. I might play through yellow, although although I'd rather not do like a full-on bio kind of game. Just a casual run. I want to do maybe more casual runs of Pokemon, you never know. Something like a uh, like a weak Pokemon run, where you just pick kind of Pokemon that's really bad. You should have no problem using this move. HMO5, and HMO5 is Flash, which we'll need in order to visit the Dark Cave, except you can't get anything in the Dark Cave. You can't proceed through the Dark Cave it's a it's a bit of a bad realization uh but we can be kind of neat and we can teach it right away so let's go to our inventory let's boot up a tm flash and we're going to teach flash to sprouto i can also take it to uh, teach it to chicky but i'd i don't know something in my head is like oh i don't want to use it oh now if you go over here you can get an escape rope which if you saw silver using it earlier that is the easiest way to leave this tower rather than going through the front door because we can go to the Pokemon tab instead of actually just the items tab. And we can just use Escape Rope. They give you it, you may as well use it. And there you go, it just chucks you outside. Sweet. Now, if I was a terrible person, I'd be ending the part here. But because the gym, this one is very short, I think it's great to tackle it on in this part as well. So, I... <laughs> yeah, I... I was like, yeah, let's make this one a bit longer. So, yeah, we're gonna fight on the gym. Now, the good thing about the gym is that none of the Pokemon are above level 9. So, the Hootooch is was higher level than this gym leader. But the... Also, I will be sending a uh, Bat Bat out first. Instead of Rocky. Because here's the thing, is that now that they're all flying type and they're all using uh, normal or flying attacks, there's no risk to them. Let me see if you are good enough to face Faulkner. Alright. Faulkner is a weird name. I don't know if that's an actual name. Could be. Anyway, he's got a Sparrow. This guy's just got one Sparrow. Now, Sparrow is a little bit... Uh, a little bit of a worry. So, I recommend... Uh, getting rid of it quickly. Now, here's the thing. You can't do anything super effective against him because you're very likely not going to have a Rock-type attack by this point. Uh, I'm gonna use Screech, just so that it's a bit quicker on me. You may keep using Peck. Oh, okay, Screech failed. Screech is like an 85% chance of hitting, so I don't... I guess, I guess... I guess it's a little low, but... Eh. Anyway, his defense sharply fell, which means it's t half of what it was, and now I can use Tackle quite effectively. Yeah. So... <laughs> This is a very quick gym. There's nothing really to it other than you have to fight two trainers. It's basically Brock's gym, except it's flying type this time. All the gyms, by the way, in this game use different types to the Pokemon in the first gen. Uh, so you're not going to be fighting any of the same uh, types of Pokemon. Also, that defense. Oh. Also, now Rocky learned Bind, which is a kind of interesting attack. It basically, instead of completely immobilizing your opponent, it's just kind of every turn damage for a bit. By the way, if we talk to this guy, hey, I'm no trainer, but I can give some advice. Believe me, if you believe, a championship dream can come true. Do you believe? Then listen, the grass type is weak against the flying type. Keep this in mind. Oh, great. Thanks. Uh, I love how the place is a dollar sign. It's a little weird. I don't know what the dollar sign has to imply, but the keyword is guts. Those here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Come on. All right. So... We've got another bird keeper. This one has just got two Pidgeys. Nothing too bad. They're both level seven, which is kind of lowish. I don't really have anything other than I'm, I'm going to send out Rocky. I wonder if Rocky's going to hit level eleven. He might. He might hit level eleven. 
It'll make this fight a little bit easier on me. But I definitely want uh, Zubat to start leveling up uh, as soon as he as soon as he can, which is right now. So, because I definitely want him to evolve soon. I definitely want him to learn an actual attack soon. Keep using tackle, bro. Uh, and he evolves at level 22. So, 22 is a bit uh, a bit later on at least. But at least with Zubat, it's not too bad. So he's got another Pidgey, we'll send out Batbat, -Bat just so he gets the experience. I don't know if Batbat's -Bat gonna hit level 10 in time. Uh, he could. That is a could. That is a very could. Rocky's definitely gonna level up by, uh, by the second, uh, gym leader Pokemon, at least, so. Using Screech in an actual way. Whoever uses it that way, I don't know. <laughs> Seriously, if you want this game to be a bit easier on you, like, uh, learn how to effectively use Screech and Tail Whip and other moves like that. Because, like, freaking Screech here is so good because then I can just do double damage to the enemy the whole time. There you go. And he can't do a thing on me. He, he can't touch me. Whatsoever. So enemy Pidgey fainted. Okay, that's... That was definitely not enough for Zubat, so... Gah! Alright, I'm gonna heal up and I'll be right back. Woo! And now we're back. Now, here he is. The little comb-over guy himself. I'm Faulkner, the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying-type Pokemon wing with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of magnificent bird Pokemon. And... That's a little weird for him to say that, because he can't get an electric type this early. Anyway, here he is, Faulkner. Oh my gosh, the comb over. The emo over, if you will. I don't know if he's emo. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, he starts off by sending out Pidgey. Level 7. Uh, that Pidgey knows... I didn't scroll through my notes. Nice. Uh, that Pidgey knows Tackle, Mud Slap, and Gust. Now, Gust is a... Uh, is a flying type attack, so it will be a bit stronger than the Tackle, but... Nothing to worry if you've got a Pokemon like uh, like Rocky. Your concern is the Mud Slap. Because Mud Slap is ground type, which is super effective against Rock. And the AI is going to exploit that. But here's the problem. Every time it hits, it lowers your accuracy, which is a huge killer. So I'm hoping I can take out this Pidgey quickly. Uh, the good thing, one thing you can guarantee is at least... Mud, uh, the effects of Mud Slap wear off when you switch your Pokemon out. Uh, that was a little weird. Thanks, Retro Rock. Appreciate it. Now, I've been hit three times, which is not very good for me. I, wow! Not only is the tackle not 100%, but the fact that I hit three times is like, whew. Okay, Rocky is not level 11 by any stretch, so. I'm actually surprised Batbat's level 9. This is even worse than last time. He then sends out Pidgeotto. Now, we haven't seen Pidgeotto before, but he's just the evolution of Pidgey. Nothing much other than the stats are higher. Uh, he only knows Tackle and Mud Slap, at least. And Gus. Sweet. Alright. Bob PD, you gotta write that one down. Can I hit him with a Supersonic? Okay, one more, one more go. One more go. One more go. Because Pidgeotto hits hard. Okay, one more go after this. One more go. And this is when it crits and does way more damage. Nope. Yes! Sweet. Sweet. That's all I needed. Okay, now, the other big concern is Chikorita is so susceptible to that gust. Chikorita would get immediately wrecked by the gust. And even though that is high level, Pidgeotto is definitely a force to be reckoned with. Now, here's my biggest concern. He's definitely going to be using Mud Slap as soon as he can. So I'm using the confusion to basically give myself an extra t uh, turn to use Bind, which will at least gives me some long-term damage. Now Bind is a bit weaker and uh, unfortunately because I use Screech it doesn't actually get affected by that, it does like a flat rate damage. Uh, are you kidding me? Dude, because Bind is definitely going to kill him eventually. And then he hasn't mudsight me, so tackle. Wow! Alright! Alright! <laughs> That gave me a lot of problem uh, in, in the previous run, but... Nope. That was it. 
I'm actually very happy about how well that went. Uh, okay. I was expecting that to be a bit tougher, but... Darn, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. Your dad's cherished bird Pokemon is a level 9 Pidgeotto. How do you even do that? Pidgeotto evolves at, Pidgeotto evolves at level 16. 18, even. So we got the Zephyr Badge, which raises the attack power of Pokemon. That's something that doesn't really come back in later generations, and I don't know all, off the top of my head what, uh, what the effect of that is. Let's say on the side here. It also enables Pokemon to use Flash if they have it any time. Here, take this too. And it gives you TM31, which is Mud Slap. Now you can be as cheap as Faulkner and constantly lowering the uh, accuracy of your opponents. Although, I am amazed. I am actually really surprised that I ace this gym. Uh, it's because he, it's because he freaking hit himself with confusion twice. So I managed to pull it off quite easily. Uh, yeah. Other than that, that was it. That's the gym. So, what you basically need is that you don't really need Flash in order to proceed on. Hello, Bando. We discovered something about the egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon Center in Violet City. Could you talk to him, click? Alright. <laughs> uh, sure, I guess. Uh, but you don't actually need to go up Sprout Tower. You won't get Flash. And if you don't have a map, then you'll be very, very screwed. But it's technically never necessary in order to beat the game. Uh, being there, a long time no see. Professor Realm asked me to give you this lovely egg. So we got an egg. We discovered that a Pokemon will not hatch until it grows in the egg. It also has to be with other active Pokemon to hatch. You're the only person we know who actually goes outside. Please tell me when the egg hatches. All right. So, yeah, we've just been given an egg. You can check its stats. Now this egg actually is quite close to hatching compared to other eggs that you'll find throughout the game. That's right. <laughs> there you go, that's my Pokemon. Uh, yeah, but we'll talk about that next time uh, in the game, in this Let's Play in particular, not in the game. Although, I will bring it up again later on, but I think this egg will hatch before that later on. So, anyway, we'll heal up, and with that, I'll see you kids next time on Pokemon Gold, when we'll proceed on what future, what the future holds. Uh... Things. Excitement. <laughs> See you guys then. Bye bye.